Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. You feel like things are changing pretty rapidly. How many times recently have you said to yourself, or maybe to others, that things just aren't right? Like something is off. There's a lot of stuff happening all at once. A lot of stuff in politics, a lot of stuff in supply chains and logistics. Uh, you know, stuff with going on with just our planet, you know, rain, too much rain and flooding, too, you know, not enough rain and dry and wildfires and volcanoes and, and just on and on and on. It's like it's never ending. Then there's all the social stuff and there's the, you know, that it's like the, the very moral fabric of what we've always been is just being ripped away and torn to shreds. I think this is becoming a feeling that a lot of people are starting to wake up to. Some of you are like myself. You've been a prepper and a homesteader for years. You, you've kind of stayed on top of what's going on. You're aware of how the world really works and who's really in charge. And you've kind of been expecting this. But there's a lot of people right now that either they knew nothing about all this stuff or they did and they thought, well, it's gonna probably eventually happen, but probably that's a long way down the road. And it's almost like they woke up one day and realized, oh my goodness, it's happening right now. It's happening fast. It's, there is just this, this intense speed of, of as, that it's changing. There's, it's almost like there's a machine behind it pushing all of these rapid changes and the rapid confusion and the, the problems and the panic. And, and we're unsure of what's going on. And that's kind of the, today's video, just a, just a talk about stuff. Um, because I think it's been on a lot of people's mind. I know it has because I'm hearing from you personally. I'm getting the emails on a daily basis, uh, continually and in, in increasing. Um, I talk to people in person all the time uh, about this kind of stuff. So uh, I know that it's on a lot of people's mind and we're, we're unsure of where this is going. I don't know where this is all going. I mean, I have some ideas of where this could go, uh, all these rapid changes, and I'm sure many of you do also but we don't absolutely know uh, and it and because things are getting just a little crazy probably more than just a little and they're m moving at such a rapid pace it it causes even sometimes the the prepared mind uh, and, and the person that's 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 ready for changes that's ready to to, to deal with this type of catastrophic uh, change it causes them sometimes to even pause and get a little worried and, and, and wonder if maybe we've done enough, you know, am I right? Am I, if I, have I done the right things to, to get myself and my family ready? And one of the goals here on this channel is to just continually reassure you that no one can be a completely prepared. Uh, no one can be always ready for whatever happens. What we can do though, is that we can make as many steps as possible, and that's different for every person, um, to get ourselves as prepared as we can, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Uh, because if you do those three things, uh, then your, your, your odds of survival, your chances of getting through whatever's happening, greatly increases. Uh, and, and that's really in the end all that we can do. We know, regardless of what your belief of history is, one thing that is pretty constant. Uh, humans throughout history have gone through many ups and downs, uh, many catastrophic changes. Uh, governments have risen and fallen. Uh, societies and cultures have gone through radical changes. And in the end, we survive it. Uh, so we know that we can. But for us, the best thing that we can do is just prepare for that. We don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, so bear with me today. This isn't a normal video. This is mostly just me talking from the heart. Uh, and I, I think that many of you, whether you're brand new to this uh, or you have been doing it longer than, than dirt has been around, uh, I think you could all take a little bit from this. Um, <clears throat> not to reveal any secrets, uh, but I did an interview this morning with a reporter from a very major, major news source. And I'm not gonna talk about who it's from. I think it's going to be published live tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the details of it because that's, that's 
all still private until it's released. But it was a really good conversation, and that's really what it was. It wasn't so much an interview. I mean, there were certainly questions being asked, but there was a conversation there. And without speaking for this person, I think that there was, uh, you know, a knowing that this isn't just me feeling this. This isn't just me saying that, oh, my listeners feel this. I think that there's a lot of people on this planet, a lot of people in this country that are starting to get this uneasy feeling. Uh, there's certainly still many, many, many of the people that are just completely blind. Uh, you know, they're, they're busy watching their sports, they're going to the mall, they're going to work. Uh, you know, they're trying to live a life as normal as possible. And, and maybe it's a denial. Maybe they're, they're trying to push for this normal life because they, they, in the back of their mind, they're trying to ignore uh, reality. I don't know and I can't speak for them, but I do know that there are uh, there is a growing number of people uh that's that's contacting me and they're saying hey you know we, we've kind of known for years that we need to get ourselves prepared and we have kind of a little along the way but we realize we really need to take this serious because things are changing uh and maybe it's moving away from where they're at or maybe it's you know trying to come up with a plan of how to to be as prepared and self-sufficient as they can wherever they're at uh, and it's because, well, there is a lot of stuff going on. Um, and we hear about it all the time. I mean, I feel like I only touch on just, you know, scratching the surface of the stuff that's actually going on. Uh, try to talk about things that I think pertain to this lifestyle or something that you would be interested in. But I, I certainly don't talk about everything. And there's stuff that I miss. I mean, several of you, num a large number of you, in fact, send me emails on a regular basis of things that you find. Uh, things that I completely missed. And it's happening often, right? Uh, I've said before that I think a lot of this is a distraction. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's not real, okay? Um, you know, if I say that this health crisis is a distraction, it doesn't mean that people aren't really getting sick. It doesn't mean that people haven't really died from it. Uh, but it does mean that overall, there's a distraction there. And personally, and I've said this before, so this isn't anything new, that I think a lot of this distraction um, is because, well, what the, the, the people that are in power openly say, uh, that they're trying to reset the world that we live in. Uh, people from the World Economic Forum and, and all these other secret society type people and world leaders and... Um, I read once a reporter um, talked about them and he said, we're, we're talking the, the top 2,500 most powerful people on this planet uh, are, are what makes up the World Economic Forum. These people flat out say that they wanna change. They wanna change our, our, our system of economics and, and global trade. Uh, they wanna change global governance. They wanna change uh, how things are made. This, they're talking about the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, they want to change health care and how you have access to it. They want to change food, how it's grown, what is grown. You know, they've talked about switching from eating meat to eating bugs. Uh, and meat would only be a very occasional treat that you get a small amount of. You know, this kind of stuff. Well, you're not going to own anything anymore. You're not going to own a home. You're going to rent. Everyone's going to live in a city, in a little apartment. You know, you're going to have a little tiny, uh, you know, electric car. Uh, on and on. This, this is something that they're talking about. And so a lot of us believe, mostly because they have said this, they, the people at, in, in, at the top tier of society, have flat out said that a lot of this stuff that's going on is because of their pushing this agenda. But then the question is, is why are they pushing this agenda? Um, which is just getting down to an even deeper level. And I believe that once you get down to that level, you find out that it's most likely, probably the, the most obvious answer, is because they see on the horizon that this society, this, this global society that, that we have, have built around us, is crumbling and failing. It's probably not going to sustain for very much longer. <clears throat> when I say that, I think a lot of people take that as like kind of an ultimate doomsday prediction uh, because in most people's minds 
and this is probably because of the you know, movies, TV stuff that you watch, that they picture when a society collapses that it ends up being something like a, a Mad Max movie, you know, where, where there's nothing exists, no law enforcement, it's this a desolate, desolate wasteland, and people are just marauding around, fighting and killing each other just to survive. I mean, I guess that is one uh, scenario. But I think the most likely scenario is, is that um, we're, we become just like virtually every other nation that's ever existed in the history of mankind. And we will go through a period of our government or our system of government kind of collapses. Uh, there's some kind of either revolution or rebuilding of that. And it comes back something new and different. And many times, not all, but many times when that happens, it comes back in a different but bad way. And, and I used an example um, recently of, of Russia. Russia was once a, an imperialistic nation uh, ruled by basically a monarchy. And there was a revolution and then became communist. And then there was basically another revolution, not in a sense like the first one, but it was a crumbling of that communist uh, society. And now it's a somewhat de democratic uh, government. Russia is still there. The Russian people still exist. They still have modern conveniences. They still have most of the things that they need, but it's gone through a cycle of ups and downs, of, of rising to the top and collapsing and rebuilding it again. America has never gone through that, uh, you know, other than maybe the, the original American Revolution. America as a nation has pretty much always been that way. We did go through a civil war, uh, but still our system of government uh, pretty much stayed. And I know there's some arguments to be made on that one, but we'll just move along. <clears throat> so it's very possible that, that we are entering a period that within our lifetimes, we could see things start to collapse um, when it comes to government, when it comes to our economy, when it comes to normal things in society that we've become accustomed to. Uh, you know, banking systems, our monetary system, uh, supply chain systems, healthcare, things like that, uh, we could see them collapse uh, under the weight of all this change. Um, it's my opinion, and my opinion only, that it's highly unlikely that a society can withstand the onslaught of so many radical changes uh, we live in a society and a generation that wants to completely abandon everything that we've ever been. Every idea, every value, everything. They want to completely rewrite family values, traditional values, morals, religion, uh, culture, everything into something radically new. Overnight, it seems. Uh, most of the time with Generation after generation, you see slight changes, slight changes, slight changes. And now all of a sudden, that's not good enough. We want to wake up to something completely new. Uh, this idea of completely burning down what exists and rebuilding something new overnight. And uh, I don't think that's very sustainable. I don't think that's it's a, a very likely scenario uh, to happen with great success. So all of this stuff that's happening... All of this, it's just every day, whether it's from the political realm, the economic realm, the, you know, food supplies and farming, agriculture, uh, you know, the natural world and how the earth is changing and climate is changing. Um, it's all kind of pointing into a direction uh, where we are entering a phase uh, that is completely unsustainable. And many of you are much like myself. Bible believing, and you look to this as a sign that we are entering the end times, and that's a strong possibility. Uh, and I, I would agree with most of you on that. That's not what I'm getting at today, though, because we don't always know that. Uh, what we do know is that we are entering a, a, a period of time in our history that we've never seen before, um, that's, that's radically changing right before our eyes so fast that it's it's nearly impossible to keep up and whether the outcome is good or bad almost doesn't matter just a nation especially as large as this going through this much change 
uh, in such a short amount of time, it, it almost certainly is going to result in there being large hiccups along the way, which means, you know, we're going to see supply chains kind of crumble. We could possibly see uh, electric grids and other utility grids uh, crumble uh, permanently or temporarily. So saying all this is to say that prepping, getting yourselves um, more sustainable, which is kind of an ultimate level of prepper, uh, you know, when asked is, you know, what's the difference between prepping and homesteading? Well, homesteading is just kind of prepping at a, at a more intense level. Uh, it's a lifestyle to take control of your life into your own hands. You're not dependent upon a system. You're not dependent upon stores and supply chains. You're not dependent upon factories. You're not dependent upon governments nearly as much. Uh, you're learning to do as much as you can on your own and for yourself and with other people around you in your community and not depending on something outside. We do all this because we see the handwriting on the wall. We see that things are rapidly changing around us. Uh, John Kerry, back after the election but before the inauguration, was asked in an interview by someone from the World Economic Forum. I've played this clip a few times. He was asked if the incoming new president would be ready to further the agenda of the World Economic Forum and the Great Reset. And John Kerry's response was, is you'll be surprised at the speed and intensity that the new administration will push this agenda. And you can find that online, on YouTube, that interview. That's what we're seeing. We're seeing speed and intensity. We're seeing in speed and intensity with this thing right here. Uh, never that I can ever remember or ha I have ever heard of in human history has there been such a radical and aggressive push for something that the numbers tell us isn't really that that dangerous. Uh, this this heavy, heavy-handed push for everyone to get the thing uh, when we know that there's you know problems with it. It's not perfect. Uh, there's there's no option. It seems to to have a, a choice that it's my body and I choose to not have that. There's there's not even an option to question or to slow down and say, well, wait a minute. You know, I'd like to know more about this. I'd like to more know more of, of what's in it. Uh, you know, all that. There, there's no question. You're, this is a one time that you're not supposed to question anything. That right there, my friends, that's strange. It's not whether you're pro or anti something. It's that sometimes you just wanna, you wanna have a question answered. And they're shutting down all debate. They're shutting down all questions. Not allowed. You accept this mainstream narrative or nothing else. When we start to hear things like this, most normal thinking people pause and say, something's up. This is not right. This is not normal. We're seeing this everywhere. We're seeing this in the economy where they're telling us that, oh, inflation is a good thing now. You know, all these years that you heard that inflation was bad and that spending money that we don't have, that we just create out of thin air was bad, <laughs> that was wrong. This is actually good for the economy. We're hearing this more and more, completely twisting the meaning of words. And when governments, people in power, people in organizations of influence start doing that, it's usually a sign that some strange things are ahead of us. And so while I can't predict what's going to happen or if it's gonna to continue to get worse or not, I can tell you that based on all these things that I've mentioned and more that are changing and are changing at a rapid pace, it's probably a good idea to take the time and put forth the energy and effort to get yourself prepared for some change. Because even if that change leads to something good, going through those growing pains for a while and experiencing that change could certainly disrupt the life of most American people and around the world. So regardless of where you're at and what you think is going on, knowing that things are happening and knowing that things are changing rapidly, 
uh, should be just enough to take the time and get yourself prepared. I tell people all the time, get your houses in order. Prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually because changes aren't going to happen. Changes have happened. We don't live in the same world that we did 18 and 24 months ago. And there's no signs showing and indicating that it's gonna slow down anytime too soon. In fact, just in the last few weeks, it seems like the speed and intensity of all this change has increased greatly. So I would encourage you to continue doing what you're doing, continue preparing, continue becoming more independent and more self-sufficient uh, so that you can have a better chance of surviving and thriving through all this radical change that's happening, regardless of where it leads us. All right, folks, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.